I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn characteristics of rational function. We'll discuss two things. One, behavior near the vertical asymptotes and the other one is describe the end behavior of the following rational function. Right. So these are the two things which we are going to discuss for the rational function y equals to x squared divided by x minus 2 times x plus 4. Now let me make a rough sketch first. So generally speaking whenever we have a function like this a rational function denominators can be equated to 0 and those values are not in the domain of the function. So at those points we may have a hole or we may have a vertical asymptote. In this particular case when I write x minus 2 equals to 0 I get x equals to 2 and when I write x plus 4 equals to 0 I get x equals to minus 4. Now we do not have any factor of x minus 2 or x plus 4 in the denominator so at x equals to 2 and x equals to minus 4 we are going to have vertical asymptotes. So let me sketch vertical asymptotes. Let us say this is my vertical asymptote for minus 4 value and let us say this is the vertical asymptote for x equals to 2, right? So let me write it down here. The equation for vertical asymptote, which is x equals to 2, and this one is x equals to minus 4. Now two things we are considering. One is behavior near these vertical asymptotes, and then we'll see the end behavior, okay? So let's begin by behavior near the vertical asymptotes. When we say behavior near vertical asymptotes, what does it mean? It really means we know at vertical asymptote the function will be infinitely large, but we need to know whether it is a positive value or a negative value. That is what we want to figure out, right? So let's begin by taking a test point very close to the vertical asymptote itself minus 4. So let us take x equals to minus 4.1. Correct? Now if I take x equals to minus 4.1, substitute here, will I get a positive value or a negative value? Minus 4.1 square will be positive, right? So numerator is going to be positive. If I place it here, minus 4.1 minus 2 will give me negative value. Minus 4.1 plus 4 will be negative 0.1. That is also negative. So negative and negative becomes positive. So we have three positive values, right? So in a way, let me write here as a positive value divided by this will be a negative value. And this is also going to be a negative value, correct? So that means that positive value is what we are going to get when we have all these three together. So positively large value means behavior here is that the graph of the function will approach positive infinity as you're approaching from the left side of minus 4. Correct? Now let us take a test point on the right side of this value. So that is to say minus 3.9. If I write minus 3.9 then the numerator is positive. Square of everything is positive. Minus and minus will make minus but this value will be positive, right? Minus 3.9 will give me plus 0.1. So what we have is one negative. That means a negative value. So the behavior near the asymptote will be kind of like this. Y value approaches negative infinity. Perfect. That is what we try. We are trying to understand from this video. Behavior near vertical asymptote, right? We could write this in a fashion like this, that as x approaches <coughs> minus 4 from negatives that means left side y approaches positive infinity that's what we got when x approaches minus 4 from right side that is positive y approaches negative infinity do you see that so this is the behavior near the vertical asymptote vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 4 I hope that point is absolutely clear, right? Now let us test a point close to x plus 2, okay? So when you are approaching from the left side, let's take a point which is, let's say, x equals to 1.9, which is less than or on the left side of 2. Now numerator square of this number is going to be positive. 
in the denominator if I write 1.9 minus 2 I get negative here positive positive when you add them you get positive so when you have this kind of a situation a positive divided by product of negative positive you are going to get negative value so at this stage behavior is kind of like this do you understand so we can write here that as x approaches 2 which is the vertical asymptote from left side minus y approaches negative infinity do you get the point that is behavior near the vertical asymptote at x equals to 2 we are talking about now let us consider when the point is on the right side so it will be more than 2 right so if I write 2.1 let us say let me write here now let's say x equals to 2.1 in that case numerator will be positive how about denominator 2.1 minus 2 will be positive 2.1 plus 4 will also be positive so this is going to be positive so the end behavior is kind of like this so for this we can write that as x approaches 2 from the positive side y approaches positive infinity you understand so that is the behavior near vertical asymptotes okay now let us consider the second part of this which is end behavior of this function when we say end behavior what do we mean we mean what happens when x approaches negative infinity or when x approaches positive infinity those are the two ends right so x could be negative infinity or positive infinity right this is my function f of x right so if I substitute a very large number here for x negatively large let's say minus 100 okay 100 times any of these numbers is considered large you can put 1000 also so if I put a negative large value what do I get I get this one will be positive always right divided by if I substitute a negative value here okay so so let me actually place the value and find the answer okay let us use calculator to find the answer that would be better for us so we have 100 square on the top we get 100 square divided by let me write within two brackets because we have two things 100 minus 2 bracket close times 100 plus 4 bracket close 2 brackets close equals to how much we get 625 by 637 which is kind of equal to 0 0.981 but with a positive sign so we get 0 0.981 with a positive sign so what we get here was we get y approaches 0 0.981 so 0 0.981 if I substitute 1000 it will be 0 0.99 something so it is going to approach 1 so you can select few values great and make a table right so what I suggest here is kind of make a table write minus 100 see what is y value minus 1000 check what y value is so we get 0 0.981 when it is approaching large value like minus 100 and if I put minus 1000 what I should get is 0 point let's say 999 I'm not calculating you can calculate but what we really observe is that y value approaches one positive one do you see that so there is a horizontal asymptote y equals to one so let me draw a positive value y this is for my horizontal asymptote which is at one okay positive one so since these values are lower than one we will say that they are approaching from below right like this so they are approaching like this so that is how it is going to approach do you get the point similarly we can calculate for large values of x so what you can do is use your calculator and substitute values of x as 100 and then 1000 and see what is the y value so let me again calculate this time with 1000 okay so we have 1000 square in the numerator divided by we'll put two brackets since we have two factors here so 1000 minus 2 bracket close times 1000 plus 4 two brackets closed 
equals to we get 0 0.998 so here we get a value 0 0.998 and that is also less than 1 but it's close to 1 right so we are again approaching this graph but from this side you see that close to 1 positive value less than less than 1 right so that is what we get for this particular function so when you are approaching a large positive value x approaches large positive value y approaches a value which is 1 so in this case we have a horizontal asymptote let me write down here horizontal asymptote y equals to 1 do you understand so if y approaches a value which is meaningful like 0 1 2 anything in that case we say a horizontal asymptote exists and in this case we saw y is equals to 1 and that is the value it approaches correct so that is how we can actually find the behavior of the graph of the function near vertical asymptotes and the end behavior also right I'm not saying near horizontal asymptotes since all rational functions may not have horizontal asymptotes right so that was the criteria I hope with this you have a good idea about it. Sorry about the mess I made on the paper, but I think if you go in the sequence, you can understand what we're trying to say. Thank you and all the best.